Calgary's most recognized morning news personality. The Morning News with Gord Gillies and Sue Diel on 770 CHQR. You're clearly watching the provincial election closely. You've I, written yeah. down and you had some time in an airport the other day to do a little horse race. Uh, as we joked with George Stevenson, if you don't know, at the Louis in the old days, he used to do some funny, funny, funny horse races just about every lunchtime. Uh, so, Gary, here's your opportunity to give us your take on the provincial election. There's the call to post. Welcome race fans everywhere for the 30th running of the Alberta Derby, which has taken place mostly every four years since 1905. Let's review some Derby history. Liberal Party was the inaugural Derby winner, but lost in 1921. They're looking for success with a new jockey. UFA was champion in the Derby from 1921, but that horse was put to pasture when social credit (laughs) dominated Derby wins starting in 1935. In 1971, the horse trained by E.P. Lougheed Stables, progressive conservative, won a record number of Derbies, but its string of wins ended after 44 years when a plucky dark horse, NDP, came out to win the 2015 Derby and is seeking to retain the crown. This year's Derby features some new horses and some new jockeys. UCP is the offspring contender of progressive conservative and wild rose. The jockey is an experienced rider from the federal circuit. The rider for Alberta party was disqualified by the (laughs) racing commission, but won his appeal and will have his feet in the stirrups. As noted earlier, liberal party hasn't been in the winner's circle for almost a century. And NDP is the current champion seeking to repeat. The horses are now lined up. They're at the gate. The lieutenant governor is in attendance for the drop of the writ. Coming up, the call of the race. And they're off. And they're off. (laughs) Charging out of the gate like a fire wagon horse is a tight pack of organized labor, ATA and AUPE. Their jockeys are whipping their horses to push NDP out to an early lead. Coming up on the inside, curtailment and crude by rail. (laughs) Handicappers are not sure if these horses will help or hinder NDP. Coming from way back in the pack is Alberta Advantage. Can this horse overcome overregulation? Too much tax in Alberta war horse. We're at the quarter post. It's NDP, UCP, followed by Alberta Party and Liberal Party. Freedom Conservative has gone back to the barns for feed bags. (laughs) On the back stretch, another pack of horses is bunching up. I need a job. Tax relief and Tidewater Pipeline have just edged out carbon tax. They're trying to clear a path for UCP. Is there enough track to make up ground? Canadian energy brand, natural gas strategy, and environmental tax credit is also making a charge. Now rounding into the clubhouse. We're into the home stretch. We've got a horse race. It's UCP. It's NDP. It's NDP. It's UCP. Liberal Party and Alberta Party are both charging hard. It's too close to call. Can a horse pull away? Will it be a photo finish? Which jockey will have bragging rights? For the answer to this question, tune into this station on April 16th for the result. Yes. Yes.